Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm giving my hermit crabs a bath. Things might get a little messy, but so I'm going to try to take them out from their cage. Hopefully I do it. Good. So there's their cage. There's one right there. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see them properly. So I also got two new ones, but they're not feeling so well. Like they they won't move. Uh, they're not dead because then they'll smell. I don't know what's up. So I'm just gonna put one in at a time. Well, I'm gonna put them all in together. So here's one. Bet, who are you? Okay, so this is clock right there. Next we have put this back. Oh, and the one with the, that one right there, that's a beetle, because he has a beetle shell. He really hits my pinches. There we go. And these two guys over here, they're the babies. Did you see them? The two, these two little white ones. And then this one, I don't think I named this one. He's going in for a bath. Beetle's going in. Say hello to Beetle. He's feisty. He's the biggest one I ever had. Biggest hermit crab. And he's the most active one too. Look. There he is. This is the first time they actually are in water. They've been in water before. I think they know how to swim. Beetle's having a little trouble. Then here. Then this is uh the little one. Beetle, you okay? been able to touch it before. I don't think you like the way, so I'm gonna put it like that. Look at her. So I'm pretty sure all three of these guys are males and she's a female. The one that's moving around. I think she's the most active one here. Well Beetle's supposed to be active. He's not. Is he okay? I'm gonna put them on the ground. Actually, guys, I don't know what's going on. Beetle today. But I think I'm gonna put him back. He doesn't seem pretty good about being back. Like, what? I don't know why. Maybe the water's too close. Oops. Maybe the water's, water's too cold. So I'm just going to move everybody back. First beetle. There we go. Next. 
these ones because they're not moving like this. Look, they're the same way. I don't know why. Some pretty stuff. Sudden, I uh, I went to go check on this little bit of food. He already ate it all. And then all of a sudden, I feel like a little. It's not small. It's like a few times of my finger, like a black, black, black. There's a black dot. And then I went to go see, and it started moving. And I realized it was a little. It was a beetle. Well, actually, it didn't. So there was a beetle in his cage. I don't know how that got in there. Because look, up top, you see, look, these, I don't think you, look how small this is. A beetle can't fit through these little holes. So I don't know how the beetle got in there. I was thinking, because I usually get crickets for And people do it if they put it in a bag, so maybe that they, there was a beetle in the bag or something. Maybe a beetle in the bag, but I don't know. Because I thought he would eat it. And I looked it up. Leopard geckos are not supposed to have eat beetles. Because the beetles, we don't know what they did. They could be flying around something that you don't want to know. They don't want to eat. Oh, there he is. He's fine. He ain't eating it. But, that's a close one. Oh, I need to put that away. I'll do that later. And, um, I was gonna do a little bit of that, because this video is on the end of it. Why is it stuck? to look like that. Or um, that's it. Oh, it's supposed to look like that. We just need this. And we have all these things. Pieces of glass. And I think this is supposed to be here. I don't know why it isn't. This is supposed to be here. Go back in a little spot. Here's the rocket. Everything that we already did is going to be right here. So this is what step are we? Okay, we're on this step nine. So what we have to do.